All right, now tonight, following the path of New York Governor Cuomo, Dr. Doom Gloom Flip Flop Fauci is now using his pandemic failures to cash in on a book deal about, quote, truth and service. Now, remember, it was just last week that Fauci flipped and flopped and flabbed on the lab leak theory. Oh, maybe it is possible. And of course, we've documented right here on this program, he has flip flopped on everything from masks can't fix anything, they won't do anything, to one mask, to two masks, to masks once a season. He flip flopped on ventilators, schools, and reopenings, and the risk of outdoor transmission to the threshold needed for herd immunity, and so on and so forth. And then, of course, the issue of the yeah, gain of uh, uh, function research being done at the Wuhan lab that the NIH apparently partly funded. Now, the book's reportedly only 80 pages long. No word on whether it will address all the controversies surrounding gain of function research. And now Fauci still refuses to give a straight answer on that, but back in 2012, Fauci claimed the benefits of this controversial gain of function research outweighed any risk of a pandemic. Dr. Fauci still believes that, and one of the senators who's been forcing Fauci to actually answer the tough questions, well, he's from the great state of Louisiana, Senator John Kennedy. And by the way, Senator, I strongly, unless you ask me not to, uh, strongly support your reelection. You have done a phenomenal job as a senator from the great state of Louisiana, and uh, you become a true leader in the Senate. And I have a great admiration for you, sir. Well, uh, thank you, Sean. Um, my, my campaign people would beat me about the head and shoulders if I didn't ask folks to to go to my website, johnkennedy.com. Johnkennedy.com. I put up some. Uh, cool new pictures and some uh, some admonitions to folks like pretty please with sugar on top uh, stand your ass up for the national anthem and that sort of stuff <laughs> uh, but, but can I say a word about can yeah, I, go, go can ahead. I say you a word about up. Dr. Fauci yes sir um, let, me, let me say this about Dr. Fauci I know Dr. Fauci I like Dr. Fauci I respect Dr. Fauci but karma as they say is a witch. For the record, that's W-I-T-C-H. The evidence has finally caught up with the uh, Chinese Communist Party, with Dr. Fauci, and with the other permanent Washington types, who for over a year have said that the idea that the coronavirus came from a China lab leak was a conspiracy theory, and that anybody believed that was circus freak crazy. Well, it wasn't a conspiracy theory. And people aren't circus freak crazy. Um, it was a reasonable question to ask from day one. Um, suspicious facts uh, have existed from day one, if people cared to look, pointing to that possibility. The uh, Chinese Communist Party and Dr. Fauci, and I'm going to be blunt here, have said for over a year, look, nothing to see here. The coronavirus came from an animal. Except after a year, no one's been able to prove that. And as The Economist magazine put it this week, no one has found anything close to a smoking bat. Uh, not to put too fine a point on it, but uh, a year ago this month, in May of 2020, uh, my friend Dr. Fauci gave her a number of interviews, and in them he dismissed the lab leak theory. Now, I want to be fair to him. I know the press was all over him, and he did it under pressure from the press. But Dr. Fauci should have told the press to stick it up their fact checker that I'm going to follow the science, and he didn't. And we've lost a year here. And, and I don't know if we'll ever find the origin of the virus now. It's not a question, Sean, of keeping score or who was right or nah, 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 you were wrong. We need to know this so that we can keep it from happening again. And, and I don't know now um, if we'll ever find out. And that's a, that's a bloody shame. You know, he, he's flipped and flopped and failed. Now, the comments in 2012 about gain of function, this is significant. In other words, labs that actually, they manipulate, and I'm using layman's terms here. Forgive me, Senator. I'm not a doctor and I'm not a medical researcher, but manipulate viruses, but it causes the yeah. 
it, it can potentially, and he acknowledged that it can potentially cause a pandemic that gets out of control. He said it was worth the effort. Yes. He was in charge of the NIH. He gave money to the Wuhan lab. He can't say, based on your questioning of him, whether or not any of that money was used that way. Is that correct, sir? Yes, and I don't know that that's Dr. Fauci's call or the call of any other scientist or, or, or Washington, D.C. insider. Look, th this is what we've discovered. Scientists all over the world are creating fa Frankensteins. That's what gain-of-function research is. In gain-of-function research, a scientist in a lab takes a harmless, benign pathogen and turns it into a deadly, contagious virus to learn from it. And this is happening all over the world. And labs leak, and we didn't know about it. And Dr. Fauci and his colleagues they're going to have to step up and tell us what's going on here and whether the American people are paying for it. All right. Well, congratulations again, Senator, on your announcement for your reelection. We always love having you on. Appreciate you being pushing this issue Thanks, hard. Sean. We need to know. Thank you, sir. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.